can i implement this in computer science subject is it possible what do you have to tell them no i don't have to tell i just showed him how can we survive we can only survive by actually making best use of our mind because our mind dictates the creativity and it dictates the strategy yes sir uh, vamshi sir what concept is this this is one of the technical concepts that is uh, interview giving concept like many people if they know this concept and they can answer this they are bound to get into what what, what subject yeah. what subject is this computer science electronics all mix kind of all mix. okay what does yes vamshi sir let's see computer science mechanical or whatever is there everything electronics everything you put together let's see how you can do it i see i see it's a very difficult concept yes sir close your eyes yeah so in any kind of system that people interact the output that comes from a particular state depends on the inputs that are given in the subsequent states so when a, when when the system has to move for example if at all i have to press a switch and if i consider it as an event then by pressing a switch i can go to step 1 or step 2 or step 3 typically to cap to go to step 3 i just have to know that if i am there previously on step 2 it is sufficient for me to understand that information to go to step 3 i don't have to remember that i have crossed step 0 step 1 and step 2 however in software uh, when people start writing uh, code uh, before uh, a concept called a state machine they used to remember so they used to put in memory all the previous states they translate into huge amount of code and for every state we also remember the past state and that is causing lot of problem it is like a ticking time bomb over a period of time uh, that will increase so much of memory and system will go for a toss at the point of time we use a concept called as a state machine because as i mentioned if i understand that i can go to step 3 provided i know that i have already crossed step 2 is sufficient so this particular uh, phenomena or this particular kind of design we call it as a state and the linking between these two sta- uh, these different states compre- collectively called as uh, state machine so this will avoid the spaghetti kind of code and it gives a well controlled uh, design which can scale for uh, small systems to much more complex systems and each state uh, will try to uh, hold one variable which will say that yes the particular uh, control or the program has crossed this particular stage so that when the next transition happens by looking at that one variable state like whether it is on or off the subsequent state can uh, take a decision this is much more controllable so one of the popular example that is also given uh, is that if i have a bomb and i know that if i set a timer i can always put plus 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 and i increase the time and once the time is reached the bomb will blow off however i don't have to maintain so many variables to go to understand that so many steps have been taken i just have to put one variable which will keep track of like a counter that the time is decreasing or increasing once i reach the required thing then the lever is pulled and the bomb can blow go off this is just an example to let people understand that this is a very powerful concept which will use less amount of memory perfect on dot superb let's give sir a big round of applause great job what clarity you got after following this uh, uh, technique how easy it is memory yeah now the picture is very clear i know why why one step has to be taken and why one step has should not be taken in fact now by understanding this i am pretty much sure that whoever are my mentees and students that i am teaching i can teach them i can exactly transfer the information to them that they can crack their interviews there are many children here i am pretty much sure the kind of jobs we are doing our kids will not do <laughs> traditional jobs will go away correct right. if not the job at least a part of the task will go away because they are ca and all those things so in that kind of scenario going forward after 10 years people who are creative and who can explain the concepts have real life experience will get the lion share other people will get up in the morning and curse their jobs sir compared to before tell us you put all such an abstract concept if you had to memorize earlier in your own method how much time would you take and today how much time you take 
yeah i would i would spend at least one hour to one and a half hour uh, trying to see because i would not have first of all created as a picture i would have tried to remember words and i would have looked at the code and try to map it now Correct. after this actually when i look at the code in the meantime and people were saying i just scanned the code and it was so clear so hardly in 10 minutes i understood the code also and concept also wonderful so if, uh, compared to one hour you could finish it in 10 minutes following this technique yeah one hour How is, to understand the concept only code was separate earlier what would be your retention even after one hour or two hours what would be your retention how much would you remember uh maybe 20% i would have been in doubt <laughs> and then that doubt i will still carry it till the point when i have to tell somebody i have this fear that okay can i sell them can i really tell them teach them now uh-huh. i can simply walk in into any session and just close my eyes for 2 to 3 seconds or remember the complete picture and speak for now one last question to you you know because you are a career counselor and you know how uh, people are struggling today so what 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 do you have to tell them that uh, uh, can they crack any kind of an interview or whatever should should they learn this memory techniques make their life easy yeah yeah we, we should with because of ai it is becoming more important that that humans will should become humans because at any at some point of time industrial revolution machine was taking our physical labor now chat gpt is taking away your mental labor <laughs> now if, right. if when that is gone then humans are obsolete correct so how can we survive we can only survive by actually making best use of our mind because our mind dictates the creativity and it dictates the strategy so and one one last question sir many many people say can these memory techniques and one more student is here mr rajkumar is here so he was also asking the same question can i implement this in computer science subject is it possible what do you have to tell them no i don't have to tell i just showed him okay brilliant brilliant thank you thank you very much sir thank for you. sharing this lovely lovely